you start trying to raise investment, it's worth taking a step back and looking at what you're trying to achieve. You may think that you have the next big thing and that investors will be lucky to invest, but try to look at it from their point of view. They know very little about your product or your startup and probably don't understand 100% of what you're trying to do. More often than not, investors are looking for a reason not to invest. So if they don't understand something, the likelihood is that they won't. Friends, family and fools. This investment category is usually associated with the very beginning of a startup's life and usually comprises close contacts of the founders involved. It's a good way to show investors further down the line that you have people you know that are backing you. Crowdfunding. If you're looking to raise investment from your wider network as well as other investors, you may well consider crowdfunding. This involves putting your company up on a platform where investors can buy smaller chunks of equity in it. Crowdfunding can be time consuming with a typical raise taking around six months, but it's a great way to get your company out to a wider audience and can be considered like a marketing exercise. If you're looking to get your company off the ground, you may want to raise money via business angels. A typical round would be five to 10 investors and an average ticket size of around 25,000 pounds. Business angels are often successful in their own right and can bring strategic advice as well as relevant contacts to your business, which can be very, very helpful. Venture capitalists are funds as opposed to business angels who are individuals and they invest money that has been invested into them by pension trusts and other institutional investors. They tend to be what is known as growth capital and focus on companies they think are likely to provide them a 10 times exit in the next three to five years. They focus on hard statistics such as revenues and users and their ticket size is usually 500,000 pounds to 1 million as a very minimum. These are some of the key areas to look at, but there might be others that are relevant too. Take a look at our website and our blog and keep up to date with all the options that are available to you.